Hey everyone, with pay for two being tomorrow, I wanna to quickly come on and share with you some essential tips. So let's start off by jumping straight into the facts about paper two. So first of all, paper two, it's 91 marks. It's two hours long and it's worth 35% of your A-level. Now, unlike paper one, paper two has a comprehension at the back, which we're gonna be talking about a little bit later on, and about 50 to 56% of this paper will be application questions. So bearing all of that in mind, let me share with you some last minute tips to help boost your grade tomorrow. So number one, let's think about those application questions. As I just said, 50 to 56% of this paper is application. So that means you need to be reading the information carefully, highlighting the information in the question, not in your answer, and making sure that you're annotating as you go to try and work out what topic is this question linking to and thinking what are the key terms that I could include linked to this topic. Then when you get to the question itself, use all of that information you've highlighted, the key terms, the topic that you're thinking about to come together with an answer. Tip number two, this is a really quick tip. As I said, the comprehension is the last 15 marks on this paper and those questions are pretty much all application questions because it says using the information and your own knowledge answer these questions so they're pretty much all application and that means they're quite tricky so don't start on that one there's no time advantage to doing those first start at the beginning instead and work your way through for this one tip number three links to these comprehension questions again because they're pretty much all application questions, the strategy to take with the comprehension is read through the information and highlight as you go what you think will be key information and annotate the topic that you think it links to. That is always how I approach these when I go through them in lesson with my students. I have it under the visualizer and then I'm highlighting and annotating the topics as I go through and try and explain some of the key aspects. Then when I get to the questions, it's so much quicker and easier to work out what content it's linking to and a potential answer. Number four, I'm going to say this every time, bullet point your answers. You can bullet point every single answer on paper too and it will save you so much time, it will help you be more concise and make sure you've put in enough marking points for the number of marks the question is worth. So please definitely do this. Now that is it, I'm keeping it short and sweet today because I know it is precious time now towards revision and I'm going live on Instagram and TikTok this evening anyway at seven o'clock so I'll see you there with any last minute help with exam questions and general questions. But for now if you do need more help cramming in some extra revision based on paper two definitely check out my entire paper two video i don't know you're short on time so watch it on times two speed but for now best of luck and hopefully i'll see you live at 7 p.m on instagram and tiktok